Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're celebrating something very special. We're celebrating our baby shower and we are at my parents' house and we're gonna have um, all of our family over. And so, yeah, this is the last of- Yeah, all the showers. All the showers, which is kind of, which is nice. Um, we are 37, almost 37 weeks. Well, I'm so. like eight weeks, so <laughs> but- We are yeah. almost there. But anyway, just excited and um, it's just excited to see all of the family because we don't really gather as much anymore uh, just because of COVID and everything. So it's nice to see everybody tonight. Are you looking forward to it? Yep, all the wine that Kyle bought. That I can't drink. <laughs> all right, see you inside. If you're wondering, I'm playing a, a baby shower playlist for you. Wow. You make it up? No, it's just on Spotify, so yeah. Wait, did you show everything? Mm -hmm. The balloons. So precious. How's the decoration for me? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're back in my mom's and dad's house, my parents' house, and if you can see, the kitchen looks totally different than what it did. Close the cover. Close the cover. What it did, like, just how many months ago? Um, we started on April 18th. April 18th. So that's kind of why it took, we haven't been filming in here. Yeah, that's the reason why, yeah? Yeah. Did you miss filming? Yeah. Um, do I have to be honest? Yes, she did it with me, but it's okay. But anyway, I wanted to just share the new kitchen with you, and it's not brighter now in here. Do you like your kitchen? Yes, I love it, actually. So the layout pretty much is the same, but it's just white, right? Well, I what I wanted really were drawers, because you know, as you get older, you really don't want to have to be getting into cabinets and pulling things out. So I have everything in drawers, and I even have, if you want to see, I pull out drawers here. Um, the last thing that is not quite finished are, is my pantry, I need, and I, I'm going to have um, pantry drawers. So everything is pulled out. But it's almost done. Looks almost good. done, yes. Almost. So that's why it looks a little bit different in here. Okay. What is your um, parenting advice? Um, remember that, um, remember who the parent is. Because I didn't always remember. No, I tried to always remember who the parent was. You know, because um, I remember, um, like sometimes my friends would say, oh, my child didn't want to come to church because they're still sleeping. And I'm thinking, who's the parent? <laughs> So, you have to so we have to be in charge. You have to be in charge. Yes, but but you have to know when to um, release that because you can't be in charge forever. I know I'm not in charge anymore. She likes to pretend that she's still. <laughs> I know I'm not. No, nobody listens to me anymore. That's not true. <laughs> okay, so that everyone else gave really great advice, but that's my one. Okay, thank Remember you. Remember, you are the parent for a long time. You're in charge. Okay. All right. All right. I think Brent Brent said it to me, but I didn't understand it, and I still don't. But I would, he told me to have fun being a parent. And when with your first with our first kid, we stressed out all the time. And everything, like if you drop the pacifier, we like got frustrated and got a new one. And I think if we just like slowed down and you know had more fun, it would have been better. Alcohol, too, that helps. Okay, thank you for that. This is for uh, the onion, the French onion soup. So you put some soup in your bowl, and then you put some of the Gruyere cheese on it, and then you dip this in there. 
I need I need a few years to think about this. My best parenting advice. Oh my gosh. I can't think of anything right now. But let me just give you some quotes. And if I think of something better, I'll tell you later. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Or so you built castles in the air. Now go put a, put foundations under them. Something like that from Thoreau. I guess the best best parenting advice is just when you when you have oh, I'm going to empty the trash. <laughs> you gotta uh, just be patient with your kids and. Just show them you love them, and, and uh, you know, as uh, as the years go by, the kid um, you appreciate babies when as they start, but it, it your your job as a parent never ends, it, <laughs> never ends until the day your children. Well, you're gonna probably go away or be gone before they are, but um, you know, just to see them grow and everything, but. Um, Again, the li life of a parent never ends. Kids spell love T I M E. On the, that's basically the foundation for everything. I was getting emotional. That's it. I'm getting emotional. It's the wine. Well, that's gonna be me. Well, I'm very emotional. It's okay. Good. You're getting emotional too. I notice. I don't get emotional. Anger is an emotion. Uh, <laughs> Irritation? Yeah, disgust. Frustration? Disgust is also an emotion. Yeah. Yeah. Best parenting hey, advice um, connected to the other one um, wow. is that okay, the foundations for your parenthood wow. is your relationship you with, with your husband or wife. Wow. So the relationship yeah. between the two of you is the most important relationship. Oh. And from that, your children will get oh, their security okay. and safety. So make make that good first before you do the other. People think about putting their children first. Actually, you need to put your spouse first. Okay. Mm. Oh, and, and children are like toothpaste. Once you get them out, you can't put them back in the tube. <laughs> That's a good oh. oh, one of them is never be hard on yourself because uh, and take care of yourself because um, you're gonna, you know, if you need to step away and eat something, especially when the babies are small, to do that. Take those those minutes to, because um, you're not gonna have too many of them. So do the things that are gonna help you take care of yourself, whether it's like take a bath, eat something, um, and do it big because those are the things that are gonna keep you afloat, you know? Um, so, and any of the things that make you feel good, do that um, when you can because you're not gonna have time um, other than that and then and, and just and not be hard on yourself um, and then just don't sweat the small stuff because you know things happen with kids like you'll get uh, poop all over you sometimes or you know whatever it is or like they're they're gonna be crying when you want to you were hoping to do something else and it's, things are never gonna go the way you were hoping to that they're going and just sort of just go with it and enjoy the moment because they're gonna grow up so fast <laughs> I would say that you should um, I think I would say that you should uh, take lots of pictures and videos because it's gonna go by very quickly um, so um, you don't want to you want to make sure you have lots of photos lots of videos and you want to enjoy all the the all the time that you have with your new baby because it's gonna go by very quickly. So you just wanna, even when you're changing the diapers in the middle of the night, that you just have to just appreciate and be, you know, be uh, savoring those moments. <laughs> okay, uh, parenting advice. This is actually grandparenting advice. I didn't realize it when I was a parent. A parent. Um, be patient. Speak softly. Shall we all gather here, Jenny? And give a lot of hugs. And if your child wants to hold your hand, even if they're in fifth or sixth grade and they still want to hold your hand in public, hold your hold their hand. Um, everything 
is temporary, so it'll be fine. You'll get through it. <laughs> and I think just um, let's see. You always have to think about um, what is best for the child long term, not just for that moment. Oh, out of here! That moment. What do you think? That's good. It's good right there. How's your? Do you like your parents? You like your parents? She has a dress. She has a dress. Doesn't so she look so pretty? <laughs> yes. Okay, so we got all of this from Tanioka's. Uh, hang on. We have to pass this to the Grandma Tanji. Oh, sorry. So we have their famous fried chicken. I don't know if it's famous, but you wanted it. It's really delicious. Uh, ahi patties. Um, their fried noodles. Corned beef hash. From, from, uh, from Tanioka's. That's what we got from Tanioka's. I made some salad. Um, potato salad and um, some vegetable plates, a green salad with from Mari's Garden. I got my uh, greens, my uh, broccoli microgreens and edible flowers and um, some mango that uh, Uncle Warren and Uncle Benji gave and um, Kathy made some um, homemade delicious French onion soup with crostini. It's, it's very special. I just want to thank Natasha and her kitchen for showing Kathy the recipe. It's very good. Very, very good. So tasty, especially with the melted Parmesan cheese on the bread that's disintegrated in my soup. Okay, I have to try it now that we said it was really good. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's not too salty, it's very hearty. And the cheese really does add. So eating it together is like, it just, it all comes together really nicely. My parenting advice is just always remember your child is their own individual. Um, so they want, won't always follow the textbook answer all the time and that's okay. And um, they're just looking for you to love and accept them for who they are. And to take deep breaths when they're throwing tantrums. For yourself. <laughs> Yeah. Don't shake your baby. Cool. Don't okay. shake your baby. Take deep breath. Read and carry. Congratulations again. Uh, some advice from a non-parent to, <laughs> to you guys. But a lot of business kids. Um, and I think uh, one of the things was uh, Terry Felber said that you always want to be in agreement and unity in front of your kids. Um, and if one of you disagrees with what the other one is doing, and he says to talk about it privately and then discuss it and then the person that um, initiated say like the rule uh, if that's the person that initiated the rule then you go back and you talk about it and you change your mind then that person should be the one to go back again and make the change not the other person right because that's like a power thing right so yeah so anyway just be unified and that's my quick, quick tip for you guys <laughs> love you guys <laughs> so i don't I, I i thought of it myself so i don't have a name for the game <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be it's more entertainment for the rest of us watching you guys I told Kathy that I don't really like a lot of games but <laughs> well we have to have at least one game okay, one game okay number one after a baby is born who will do most of the cooking Changes from the oh, That is not true. I clean. I know that around. Okay, number Okay, uh, who will cry more? Cry. The baby. The baby. Yeah. Don't do it. Oh. 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 You said me? Yeah. Okay, number three. Who will do the most of the cooking? Oh, that's not true. Oh, that's not true. Okay, number four. Who will get more frustrated? Oh. 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 Oh, did you say? Yeah. Baby number two. <laughs> Me. Oh. Okay, next. Uh, 
Kevin. Who will change more diapers? <laughs> Who will be the disciplinarian? Who will call Dr. Ali more? <laughs> Universe doesn't care about your plans, so be prepared for everything. Do you want anything? Welcome, baby Chong. <laughs> you want to take it off? Yeah, it's okay. Take it off and do it on a plate. It's not okay. It's not as fun. It makes it a more memorable cake. Not as fun. I was shocked. Like when she was talking, like she sounds like one of my third grade students. You know? The cake is from Elvin's in Kalihi. I, I didn't order it, but I think Laurie ordered a strawberry, Laurie? Yes. Strawberry. It's a strawberry cake, yeah. Thank you to everybody for helping us celebrate the pending arrival of our new baby. We're really excited to bring you into this family. We know there's a lot of love. A lot of little kids. A lot of little kids to play with. A lot of good loving aunties and uncles. With some great parental advice, by the way. And I think we're, we're lucky because we are the last ones, the family, to have children. So we we have learned and we've watched all of our and we get everybody stuck. Cousins and family members have kids first. Yeah, so we we learn. We're hoping that we'll learn from all of them. But excited and nervous and grateful to have all of our family. Happy so Thank you guys. Yes. Welcome, baby Chong. <laughs>